Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about how to check if a customer is over their credit limit in your Microsoft Access database. We've got one today for the expert students, and I consider expert to be that intermediate level, that middle ground between beginner and developer. So we'll need to use a couple of functions from our Access library, but we don't need any VBA code to do this. Today's question comes from Miriam in Scottsdale, Arizona, one of my gold members. Miriam says, in your blank template database series, you showed us how to set a credit limit for each customer. I run a small shop and many of my regular customers have unpaid invoices at the same time. Before I add a new order, I wanna see on the customer form how much credit a customer has left or if they are over their limit. I'm not ready to use VBA just yet, but I want a simple way to display the available credit before creating the next invoice. What is the best way to set this up? Well, yes, Miriam, you're right. On our customer form, we did set up this credit limit, but we didn't do anything with it. We've got orders in the system, but these don't really go anywhere, right? And the point of this was just so I could show beginners how to set up and use a currency field, right? So today I'm gonna to show you how to do this, how to look at the unpaid orders in the system. If you go to orders, for example, you can see he's got one unpaid order for 360. And then we'll say how much credit he has left. And if it's over a credit limit, then we'll make it look like that. Okay, and we can do all of this without any programming, but first a couple of prerequisites. I'm gonna be using my Tech Help free template. That is a free download off my website. If you want, you can grab a copy off my website uh, also watch this video that explains how I built that invoicing system. So go watch this. It starts with my blank template video, which is this guy. And there's a couple of videos involved that'll teach you how to build that invoicing database. You should know how to create calculated fields on a form. We're gonna use the dsum function to add up all the unpaid invoices. Make sure you're familiar with this guy. It's a relative of DLOOKUP. We're gonna use the NZ function to convert null values to a zero. And we're gonna finish it off with a little conditional formatting. These are all free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch all of those and then come on back. Okay, here I am in my tech help free template. This is a free database you can grab off my website if you want to. And if you watch the invoicing video, you already know that. Uh, there might be a newer version available on my website on the downloads page. This is version 1.98, but it's not that big of a deal. All these versions should work fine. So on our customer form, we got this credit limit, but it's just a number. It's just sitting there not doing anything. Customers can have orders. Now, this order total is calculated based on all of the line items. We have a query called the order summary queue that takes each order and groups all the items together. So we have one total over here for all of the orders. So now all we have to do is say, okay, I want to add up all of the order totals for the current customer where is paid is false. And that'll give you their unpaid order total. And in case you skipped the lesson where I made this order summary queue, it's an aggregate query. All right, we bring together the order table and the order details, we group by the order, and then we sum up the order total for each line item. And that gives us this result. Here's a video if you wanna learn more about aggregate queries. All right, so what I like to do with this query open so I can see my results is I'm gonna open up my notepad. All right, here's my notepad. And I like to write the DSUM or the DLOOKUP or whatever function it is while I'm looking at those fields. Okay, so it's gonna be D sum. Now, what field am I adding up? Well, that's order total, it's right there. Okay, and where am I getting it from? Well, that's order summary Q. Okay, now what's the criteria? Well, I got two criteria. The customer ID has to be the currently open customer, and I'm gonna be on the customer form when I write this, so I can reference the customer ID, right? So it's gonna be customer ID equals, now I gotta close the quotes, and put an ampersand there for some string concatenation and I'm gonna put the customer ID at that spot, okay? It's gonna end up looking like this, customer ID equals one, two, three, four, right? Now, normally, if that's the only thing I wanted, I'd close the quotes and close that up, okay? But I also wanna add in here, I wanna add and is paid equals false. 
Okay, now we got to replace that one, two, three, four again. So right here, we're going to close the quotes and customer ID and open the quotes back up again. See how that works? This whole thing right here is going to get replaced with one, two, three, four or whatever the current customer ID is. Now, for those of you who are bad little children and haven't followed my rules from the beginning, if you got spaces in your field names, you got to remember to put brackets around this guy. All right, but we don't because we know how to properly name our fields, so we don't need to do that. Access is going to add it for us, but we don't have to. All right, so keep this thing in your in your notepad for now. All right, slide it off to the side. Let's go over to the customer form now. This guy, design view. All right, we're just going to copy the credit limit field. Copy paste. We're going to slide it up there. This is going to be their unpaid orders. Okay, open up this guy's properties, go to all. Now we're gonna name the field, name this text box, unpaid orders. Its control source is gonna be that D sum that we wrote earlier, this guy. All right, so I'm just gonna cut it, control X, and I'm gonna paste it right in here. Paste, just like that. All right, and I'm gonna click on it and zoom in just so I can get a better look at it. Shift F2, that zooms us in for the, with the zoom box. Looks good, looks good, looks good. See, yeah, Access puts those brackets, that's fine. All right, save it, close it, close it, open it, and there we go, unpaid orders 370. Let's double check, make sure it's correct. Yep, 370 is right. Let's go to somebody else. Okay, that's showing blank. Why is it showing blank? Let's take a look, orders. All right, he's got an order, but it's paid. So the, the D sum is coming back with a null value because there are no records. That's what null means. I got nothing. So we want to handle that null condition. That's what NZ is for. So let's open this back up again. Come back in here, shift F2 to zoom in. Now we're going to wrap this whole thing inside the NZ function. So NZ, open parentheses, and then come down here. Now normally we put a close parentheses, right? But we got to put something else inside here. That second value. What do you want to make this result if D sum returns a null? Well, in this case, zero. You can put anything in there you want. I'm going to put a zero there. Hit OK. Save it. Close it. Close it. Open it. All right, there's that one. Go to the next guy. And now there's a zero there. That's better. Now that we got the zero, now we can do a little mathing, right? We can do some maths. As the British say, the maths. All right, let's copy this. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this guy gray. I like to make fields that are calculated values gray. That way the user knows that that's calculated, they can't type anything in there, okay? All right, we're gonna copy this guy, copy, paste, and slide it up. Now we're gonna put in here, the caption's gonna be, what do we put in here? Credit left, or credit remaining, or whatever you wanna call it. And I don't like how these borders, so we're gonna select all of these. We're gonna right click, we're gonna go size to grid. I know it's off the screen, but size to grid's in there. All right, open this guy up. Let's come up here. We're gonna name this guy credit left or remaining or whatever you wanna call it. Now this one's gonna be easy. It's gonna be equals the credit limit minus the unpaid orders. You need a little IntelliSense there if you see that, right? Credit limit, I'll zoom in so you can see it better, shift F2. It's credit limit minus unpaid orders. Okay, and we'll bring this back up like that. We'll save it, close it, open it, and there we go. There's our maths. <laughs> right, and this guy, now let's say this guy is uh, over his limit. So let's go into his orders and let's make this unpaid. He's gonna be big time over his credit limit, right? Now, when I close this, notice this doesn't automatically refresh itself. And I'm gonna show you how to do that probably in tomorrow's video. And that does require a one line of VBA code. Uh, for now, you can either hit F5 on the keyboard or you can come up to home and there's a refresh option here. Refresh all refreshes all the records and it will start you back on record one. Refresh just refreshes the current record. Okay, and now you can see there's that there. Um, but someone who's not terribly familiar with your database might not realize that that negative number means he's over his credit limit. So let's throw some conditional formatting in here so we can definitely tell he's over his credit limit. Let's go into design view. I am going to click on this guy, go to format, and then conditional formatting. 
we're going to use three rules. First rule, if the field value is, let's say, greater than 100. In other words, he's got at least $100 of credit left. We're going to make it green background with a white foreground and bold it. Okay? Then we're going to have like a warning zone. If he's over zero, but less than 100, we'll make it yellow. So new rule, it's greater than zero, and we're going to make this yellow. Because remember, these rules work from top to bottom, and once it hits one that works, it exits out. So this one will, will hit, it'll make it green, and then conditional formatting is done. Okay? Lastly, if the value is less than or equal to zero, we'll make it red. And then there's no mistake in that this guy is over his credit limit. Okay, look good. Hit apply, hit okay. Let's save it, close it, open it. Okay, he's good. He's definitely not good. And let's add, okay, let's, let's, let's modify this guy here. Uh, let's set the credit limit to 5,000. 5,000. And let's add an order in here. Uh, today's date. And then stuff. And then I'll put a thing in here. And it's going to be uh, $4,999. I'll just test that, that yellow. Okay. Home. And then refresh. And there we go. Yellow $1. Perfect. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, this is the kind of lesson that you'll find in my expert series. Beginner is all the beginner stuff. How to make a table. How to make a simple query. The expert lessons, we go into relationships, SQL, normalization, and things like this. All these extra, uh, the functions, I go through all of the functions. Well, I'm going to say 99% of the functions in Access. There are some functions even I never use. But I go, th go through all the ones you're practically going to use. Uh, if, uh, NZ, DLOOKUP, DECOUNT, all the date time functions, you name it. I got a whole series of expert lessons just on all the functions. And as a gold member like Miriam here, you get a free expert lesson every month. So check it out if you're interested. You'll find links for the, all this stuff down below. Now, in tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you how if they come over here and make a change, let's say this guy gets paid and come and close this and come back to here, this will update automatically. We'll cover that in tomorrow's video. And I'll also show you how if they are over their credit limit and the user clicks on the orders button, it'll say, hey, wait a minute, this guy's over his credit limit. Are you sure you want to do this? Right? All these will require a little tiny bit of VBA programming, but not much. I call it beginner VBA, so like the first like couple developer lessons. But I'll walk you through it step by step so no one's lost. That's what I'm good at. But that's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. 
Plus, you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.